When I was six years old and starting school, I had what you could call a life-changing event. I had a white friend who was about my age. We had been playing together since we were three years old. He didn't live in our neighborhood, but he was around most days because his father owned a store across the street from my house. Anyway, when school started, something bad began to happen to our friendship. Then one day, his father demanded that my friend couldn't play with me anymore. I was very surprised and hurt. I couldn't understand why this was happening. One time, we went to a downtown shoe store. We sat down toward the front of the store, and the clerk came up and politely asked us to moved to seats near the rear of the store. When we said we were comfortable where we were, she said we'd need to move to the back. So my father took me and we walked out of the store. I had never seen my dad so angry. Dad told me that day that no matter how long he had to live with things the way they were, he'd never accept it. He never did accept it. Another incident occurred when I was riding with him one day in the car. My dad accidentally drove past the stop sign. The policeman called him boy, and my father explained to him that he was a man, not a boy. The policeman was surprised at how my father corrected his wording so eloquently, and he quickly wrote the ticket and left. Even though my mother and mama had tried to explain why things were the way they were, I wanted more information. When I was 12 years old, I started reading books that taught me more about history of slavery in Africa and here in America. I read books about the Civil War and the freeing of the slaves. I read about people like Harriet Tubman, a former slave woman who helped many slaves escape to freedom on the Underground Railroad. 